The southwest Indian Ocean. On the eastern coast of Mauritius lies the resort of Constance Belle Mare Plage. The white sandy beach is two kilometers long and the resort is set in a 15 hectare tropical garden just off it. Here you can find two 18-hole championship golf courses that offer an extension of pastoral green for another 140 hectares. Uninhabited until as late as the 17th century, the paradise that is Mauritius is now becoming an ideal location for golf addicts and past Ryder Cup captains. Uh, this is paradise. Uh, we've been here four or five times on holiday. I haven't played much golf here, mind you, but uh, it's great to be here. Beautiful. It's my first time here and um, at the Belmar Plage, and it, you know, even just coming to Mauritius, I've never been here before, so it's, it's exquisite. I mean, it's like paradise. It's beautiful. Surprised me, actually. The big names of golf design have been brought in to create the courses here in Mauritius. The outcome has drawn a unanimous verdict. Great courses in an idyllic location and ideal for a winter break. It's a great destination apart from the Gulf because it's just such a beautiful island. These resorts are magnificent. Uh, and yes, it's getting, becoming, uh, any, Ernie else has done a golf course, a lot of renowned players, Bernard Langer. So uh, it has uh, certainly um, gained a lot of notoriety or fame through, these, uh, through the golf courses and I'm sure it is becoming an international destination. The European Seniors Tour started visiting in 2009 for the Mauritius Commercial Bank Open and not surprisingly, most of the tour's players decided to attend. Okay. The golf course is a, it's in great condition, um, albeit the grasses are very different to what we're used to playing in, in Europe. Um, that, that takes a little bit of getting your head around on the greens and that, you know, with the grain going here, there and everywhere. But they've just done it so well here, you know, the, the MCB have just been fantastic, they've done everything, they've, th they've thought of everything that they could possibly do for you and it's, and it's beautiful. But don't be distracted by the scenery too much, one stray drive and your card will be tarnished. The Legend course is a tough par 72 designed with accuracy in mind and yes, you will lose balls. This, this one I'm particularly proud of. It's had very good reviews um, from the pros and from a lot of the amateurs, and that's more important because it is a resort golf course and, and we need the amateurs to enjoy themselves. So while it, it, it's, it's a pretty tough golf course, it is playable. If It's a strategic golf course. You have to hit the ball in the fairway. No matter what club you use, just get it on the fairway and you can play from there. But uh, there is a lot of peril out there if you start wandering a little, but uh, we're very proud of the way it's turned out. This one's tough. This one's a tough golf course, you know, it's lost ball either side of most fairways, so you've got to keep it straight. There's lots of water, uh, you've got to be very accurate off the tee, but I have to say it's the best condition I've ever seen it. Um, as I say, I've been coming here for sort of four or five years now. I think the green staff and the hotel, they've done a magnificent job. Mauritius hasn't long been a golfing hub, but that will surely change. This golfing paradise is being labelled as a must-see destination. If you do visit, one hole to master is the par 3 17th. Remember, just ignore the water. The signature hole is probably 17 because it's such a beautiful hole. It's a par 3 over water. It's a large green because being the signature hole, we'd like players to, to of all standards to hit the green because that gives them a, a feeling of accomplishment that on the signature hole they've actually stuck it on the green. So it's a large green, but it's still a tricky shot across the ocean. Pretty quite intimidating with all that water. The beautiful scenery and picturesque surroundings understandably make this a mecca for golfing tourists. But this is a course that's also becoming used to staging serious professional competitions. Kevin Spurgeon captured his maiden victory here in 2009. A year later, it was the turn of South African David Frost, who also won here in 2012. In 2011, the event became the European Senior Tour's season-ending MCB Tour Championship. And the winner was American, Tom Lehman. To play the best I could play, and, and this week it was good enough, so it means a lot. And then on top of that, to you know, to play on the European Senior Tour, the, you know, there's so many great players who we've, we've all competed against each other for so long, and to be here with, with those guys and you know, so many friends, uh, and then to win uh, was, was special. Mauritius is now an established date on the European Senior Tour calendar, and for Lehman, a memorable one. I get to you know, fly home with the trophy, and I, I've got an eight-year-old son at home who's going to be thrilled to see this trophy. So I can't wait to show it to you.
Belmare Plage is a place of natural beauty and also well on its way to creating its own golfing legacy.